Lighters up, Aries. What it do? It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, and I'm back for the new year. Happy New Year, even though I know it's late. Hope you all are doing well. I hope you're safe. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me, drop down in the comments to let me know what you're smoking on. If you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. Let me put this out, it gets started. This is for the Aries Collective, as well as the Cross Watcher. I wanna start out with some Moonology messages for you. Um, again, this is a general reading, not a personal one. All right, take what applies, let the rest fly. We have a lot of cardinal energy going on. We just had that full moon in Cancer. So a lot of you are really focusing on your stability career right now. So let's see. Okay, so you have take a breather. release your blocks if you are or have been um, worrying or wondering about your career there may be some blocks that's preventing you to move preventing you from moving to the next level keep your heart open don't allow yourself to be so defensive this is a uh, first quarter moon in Libra Embrace the flow of life. A lot of you may be in this energy of trying to force things to happen. Be sure you don't get too caught up in that kind of energy because you could start manipulating people to get what you want. Know you are loved, okay? Libra could be significant. Cancer could be significant. Scorpio and Gemini could be significant for you. So let's go and get some channel messages. I feel like trying to get closer. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. Did I already say that? But uh, it's true. There's a lot going on in the world today. You need a vacation, yeah. Going back to up here, you need a breather. Uh, take a breather. A lot of you need a vacation. A lot of you have been working hard at something. This could be your career or relationship that's just not working. It's not going anywhere. And again, it's because you may be in this energy of trying to force things to happen with the energy that you are getting right now astrologically. So be careful of that. Some of you just need to take a break. You don't necessarily have to go out of town. But some of you need to just fall back a little bit. Yeah, analyze the situation before you act on anything. Again, Aries, you have a lot of cardinal fire. You are the fire sign that is the first to make things happen. So again, a lot of you may act on emotion. This is Spirit's way of urging you to think logically and analyze the situation first, especially if it's dealing with romance or the person that's on your mind right now. So let's see, a lot came out. You do have a choice in this matter. I feel that for those of you trying to make some type of relationship or love matter better, you don't have to stay with that person. And we're going to go to the tarot and see if anyone new is coming, but you don't have to stay with that person. Pregnancy, pregnancy scare. There could have been rumors going around about the person that you're seeing or maybe the person that you were or are seeing did get someone pregnant and you're finding out about that. And because of that, yeah, this person has burned bridges with you. And some of you 
are trying to still control the outcome or control what's going on with this person. I heard some questionable things about you. So again, you could have been hearing rumors about your person, Aries. Danger, your ops are looking for you. Yeah, this situation could have gotten really ratchet or tense. You know, there could have been arguments, a lot of going back and forth online even. Things are working for you in the spiritual realm. So that's why I was telling you, you got to lease control. You got to fall back from this in order for you to get something better. I'm hearing some of you have been dealing with someone that got a lot of kids anyway. And yeah, this is what I was feeling. This is a karmic situation. So this person came into your life, Aries, to teach you a lesson. And some of you, it may be that you cannot control everything. Sometimes you just got to let things be the way it is. Speaking of your person, my feelings for you scare me, but I like you. Again, this falls back into the karmic situation. They may have feelings for you, but they haven't reached a level of emotional maturity as you have, Aries. Again, take this how it resonates. Do the work. Stop waiting for a sign. Some of you have been you know, alone in your thoughts, especially at night. And you're like, okay, God, if I ain't meant to be with this person, give me a sign. Or if things are going to work out between me and this person, give me a sign. You don't need to, to be in that type of energy. So do the work, you know, release control, release this person. If this person heals and, and they do what they need to do to become a better man or woman for you, Sometimes the only way to get someone to do that is for them to feel your absence. Are you single? So this could be someone new Aries coming in wanting to know if you are single and available. I like the way you make me feel. Huh? You're too controlling. Yeah, like I said, so release control over this person that you're thinking about. And a lot of times, you know, it's hard, I get it. But sometimes we have to release this person from our energy in order for things to work out, okay? So let's go to the tarot. Give me a thumbs up if that has resonated so far. Some of you may be asked to go to lunch with someone. It could be this new person or this the person on your mind right now. Let's go to the tarot. Yeah, full moon energy. Something came out. I'm not gonna take all of those. Full moon energy, this is cancer energy. Yeah, something came out and it, it hurt you. And for a lot of you, I feel that it was, you know, they got somebody pregnant or it was just another man, another woman that you found out about. Intuitively, I feel like there, there's been a whole lot of discussion about you and this person. You know, a lot of people talking about what's going on because this situation may have been made public somehow. So a Cancer or a Pisces could be significant. And then we have Temperance and the Two of Wands. So this is like someone is, they're trying to bring some type of balance and harmony to the situation. This is your energy, the Two of Wands. So again, you know, a lot of you are trying to make this right. And for a lot of you, you didn't mess this up. So but you have this energy of wanting to like fix it. This isn't yours to fix, okay? A Sagittarius could be significant here. Four of Wands in reverse, it talks about, you know, a foundation or the stability of a relationship being 
dismantled, being torn apart. So you could have been in a long term commitment or situationship with this person, but there was lies and deceit going on. Strength card in reverse, you're, you're being asked to have confidence at this time. A Leo could be significant. A lot of you are going to have to, or you're in this energy now, Aries, of uh, finding the strength just to walk away from this. More back and forth, more petty behavior, more fighting dirty with each other this is an argument that has happened or will happen again if you don't release control you want this and even if your person sees you as the empress sees you as the mother and the wife and someone that they can grow with some of you are dealing with a man or a woman that has mommy issues and they're looking for someone to baby them, you know, accept their bullshit, um, ignore the hurtful things that they do and say, like give them that unconditional love like a mother would. But would they do it for you? If they if you cheated on them and had a, another child with somebody else, would they be understanding? This is your person, Six of Pentacles, your person out here giving themselves to other people, breadcrumbing you. This is the energy that I feel from this right now. King of Cups could signify a new person coming in, someone who's more stable, more grounded, emotionally, immature, emotionally mature for you, Aries. Swift, fast communication coming in, possibly from either this water sign or a fire sign. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's some type of communication coming in or someone taking quick action. Like this is something that, let me clarify this eight of wands. I feel like you may know this person, maybe not on a, on a personal level. But this new person that's coming, you may already know them. I feel that this queen of wands is someone that you've been dealing with. This is someone that could be very popular, you know, maybe popular on social media or everybody knows this person, you know, in your area, wherever you live, like this person is known. Wounded warrior energy. So again, hot and cold, going back and forth, in and out. Some of you are hurt, jaded, bitter because of the shit that this person has put you through. I feel that if this person, if you allow this person to come back or to stay, then you'll have more of that energy. This person needs to heal. Yeah, they have, um, they let their sexual urges guide them. This could be another Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Um, this is someone, so we have the queen of wands upright and then we have the queen, the king of wands. So again, this goes back to that karmic situation. Your person needs to heal. Your person may, on a subconscious level, not even like women, not saying that they're gay, but your person may not even like women or, you know, you may be dealing with someone who doesn't even like men and they take it out on you and they take it out on the people that they deal with. This is someone that lets their passions and their urges guide them. They don't really think level headed and sometimes they act in a way as if they don't care about. The, the people that they're hurting, especially if this is not a committed relationship. 
this is going, you know, especially for those of you who are in a situation ship, like this is not your girl, this is not your boyfriend, but the two of you carry on like you are in a relationship. If you fall back and concentrate on you, this is how you're ending up, okay? You're going to have the stability and comfort that you need, and then you will attract someone that actually matches this energy. Best case scenario, your past person, if you continue to pull back your energy from this person, your past person will want to talk. They may not put any action behind their words, but they will want to talk to you. Final messages. Yeah, somebody is coming to make you an offer. Someone will be reaching out. There could be an age difference between you and this person, but this is like new love that I'm sensing. So again, I, a lot of you, I feel like you're going to keep entertaining this past person, but a new person is coming. Okay. So Aries, that is your reading. Let me know if this has resonated for you. Leave me a comment and I'll see you later.